फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट वी जी गाइड टॉक अबाउट कपल ऑफ डेज बैक दैट्स नॉट हैपनिंग ऑन मंडे दैट्स हैपनिंग टुमारो ऑल्सो वन थिंग विच आई वॉज नॉट श्योर ऑफ देर आर अ लॉड ऑफ स्टॉक्स हुज वेट इज गोइंग डाउन इन निफ्टी एम एन एम गोज डाउन बाय फॉर एग्जाम्पल हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन मिलियन डॉलर इन टर्म्स ऑफ आउटफ्लो नाउ वन थिंग विच आई एम अनश्योर ऑफ इज विल निफ्टी फिफ्टी टुमारो रिफ्लेक्ट ट्रेंट एंड वी एल और डिवीज लैब एंड एल टी आई माइंट्री दैट्स बिकॉज इफ सो मच मनी फ्लोज आउट ऑफ की स्टॉक्स इन निफ्टी देन द निफ्टी फिफ्टी इंडेक्स मे क्रैश एट लीस्ट फॉल कंसिडरेबली टुमारो कमिंग टू टूडेज एपिसोड इफ यू आर सरप्राइज टूवर्ड्स द एंड ऑफ द डे that despite being at all time high nifty was still going up and up and up then in today's nugget section i'll talk about the injections my theory of what is probably happening in the market and how i am playing it right now not much surprising in terms of how the heat map looks today everything literally green except sipla and ongc the falls were not that big but the gains were really big in maruti grasim tata motors hardly any bears around heavy machinery came for some correction construction and engineering was down because lnt was down the biggest bear today was auto followed by banking metals and mining food and tobacco this was because itc made another high today the top two bars now belong to banking and electrical utilities look at the gains in auto today 2.5% up for the sector the big boy maruti today was up 5% they have announced a lot of new models that will be unveiled during the festive season maruti today crossed a market cap of 4 lakh crores banking was not too far behind though the gains were not as high the bajaj twins were on fire today also today sbi joined the party 1.1% up that too on decent volumes bajaj finance which was lagging for nearly one year that is nearly in the green zone that is how much ground it has covered from the bajaj housing ipo nifty started literally at 26000 was in a 100 point range till about 230 and suddenly it shot up that too by 150 points made a new high then towards the end a little profit booking came in bank nifty also had a very narrow range in the initial part of the day less than 200 points and then it shot up tcs was green hdfc was green icici atl after yesterday's holiday made another high sbi up infosys a little up hul itc itc made a high here lnt minor profit booking today public sector banks were doing fine sbi was up pnb was up bank of baroda was up or a good day for it persistent made a lifetime high towards the end of the day besides jindal stainless all the metals also were in party mood that to big gains vedanta 4.5% hindustan zinc up percent tata steel 2.5% it almost seems like a recession is coming to an end looking at the metal pack after two days of profit booking consumption pack also was up hul 1% itc a percent this is the high of itc asian paints varun beverage is corrected nestle up titan up each and every stock roughly 1 to 2% tata consumer 2% bsc corrected another 2% kefin tech was hammered today 5% down CDSL corrected 2%. All these stocks have run up a lot, and the profit booking was due. The outcome, of course, was a sea of green today. FIS, DIS both bought nearly 3,000 crore worth of stocks in the cash market. Nifty up 0.8%. Bank Nifty and Nifty IT half percent each. Minor gain in Nifty Energy, but auto was up most 2.3%. Mid caps are next 50.7%. Atel and ITC made their highs. Only LNT was red. and the comical part is lnt is the only one with good news it has got a mega order this is a two day old news but from abu dhabi a mega order has been received by lnt and they were down also center says that the borrowing target of 6.61 lakh for the h2 is on target few days back the news said that the current account deficit is way below the estimate because of lack of spending on account of the elections if money is not spent in h1 why is borrowing on track i have talked about the real estate crisis it is growing this is not getting the due coverage from media for obvious reasons nvidia is back in the 3 trillion pack gold is above 75000 silver is nearly at 93000 now bitcoin is about to touch 65000 and brent is back at 71 one thought i want to leave with you is itc hit a lifetime high today but look at the revenue distribution for itc this is slightly old but i don't think it has changed much cigarette business fmcg hotels paper agri business 
which of these businesses in your opinion is firing on all cylinders or going berserk or growing so much that the stock would hit a lifetime high nifty look all good six stocks down 44 up the amount of greens is suddenly growing and that too rapidly today's hero of course was maruti up nearly 5% along with tata motors 3% mnm bajaj finance hul the fear pack has a new entry ongc along with banks icici and axis bank and coal india next 50 did not do as well 20 stocks down 30 up vedanta was the leader today up nearly 5% followed by madarsan sumi trent gale punjab national bank trent will be added to nifty 50 tomorrow coming to specific sectors energy pack was a bit mixed pack Tata Power was up today also 1.7% on high volumes. Reliance was up. As a result, the sector oil and gas was up. However, ONGC corrected, Oil India corrected. The distribution companies IOC, BPCL, HPCL, they were however up. Consumption pack was in party mode today. Some stocks were red. However, the big boys are green. Defense only action was in BL and a bit in solar industries. Rest everything was red. BL will be included in Nifty 50 tomorrow. Automobile, the reverse, all green. Banking everything green, Asian Paints and Pidilite up 1% each. That's perhaps because crude corrected. Deep reds in construction and engineering, but cement was doing well. Trent was up 3% ahead of the inclusion in the index. Deep cuts in home building, deep cuts in household goods. This sector usually does very well in the festive season. Investment banking, HDFC, AMC was up, but BSC, Motor Oswal and Nippon were down. Deep cuts in heavy machinery. Softer and IT besides Zomato, everyone else was up. Titan Page Industries, little gains. Nothing sold today but an investment day. Actually a trading day because most of these stocks I bought for trading. I bought Trent ahead of the rebalancing tomorrow. Kefin was down 5%. I bought a little more of it. I am increasing my stake in the investment banking companies. Fusion seems to be stabilizing. I added a little because my holding price is very high and the losses are very huge. Trent and BL tomorrow or Monday, I might sell off what I have bought off late. And I hope that the rebalancing theory plays tomorrow the way I expect. While indices are making new highs every day, select stocks are making new highs every day. I won't be surprised if your portfolio is not growing that much. My portfolio has many, many stocks which are in deep red or a lot of red. So what is happening around us? Let's try and understand that. States of money, we all earn money, goes into our saving bank account. This is called CASA, Current Account Saving Account Balances. Banks love this and this is not being maintained by people. People are not spending either. Otherwise, the companies and the economy would do a lot better than it is doing right now. Most of the people are investing money. That too, away from banks in many cases or most cases right now. The government wants you to spend money. The banks want you to save money. Let me take an example. Suppose there is a big housing complex which has thousands of apartments. If the apartments are 1000 only, one day the supply will run out and we'll get into resale. So a flat which was earlier selling for say 1 CR, that will now go for 1.1 CR. The flats remain same, the quantity is same. Now what happens if a new project is announced around you? Suddenly there is a supply coming in. People will not want to invest into this expensive set of apartments. They may buy here. What will happen as a result? The demand here will go up. This demand will go down, this 1.2 CR may suddenly become 1 CR. The 1.2 CR guys will not want to sell in 1 CR. As a result, this inventory will stagnate. This will go up till both of them are approximately at the same price. Now people who are not even able to afford 80 lakh, what will they do? They will apply for an IPO equivalent of real estate. They will go for under construction or pre-IPOs, which means they will probably pay 50 lakh this property will be available after 2-3 years. The similar thing is happening in the stock market because the amount of quality stocks, their free float is same. Same stocks are being traded around and around again. New paper is hitting the market. Do you remember 5 IPOs which have surfaced this month? Because those are not quality papers. One or two companies, yes, you will remember. But IPOs are coming and going. People are making money in the IPO. Everything is going up. And people are selling immediately after that most IPOs are selling, going down probably to issue prices or even below it in a month or two months time. This is something which came today. One of the most intelligent people in the industry, Mr. Ramesh Damani, a ferocious rally in large caps now will be a sign of risk. He is cautioned. 
there are so many questions around from nearly everyone who is expected to be intelligent or who has been proven to be intelligent but market is in no mood to listen to them by 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 direct or via mutual funds dis now there are three participants primarily in the market fii's who have the maximum money to spend in one transaction they have the best machines best algorithms and they and their only intention is to make money some of them are long term investors which are holders of the companies for example some companies may have fi holding of 15 20% that's long term money the amount you see daily on my dashboards and in the news that is trading done by fii's then we have dis dis have retail money and they have their hands tied behind them what that means is they have very strict rules for investing they can invest into specific sectors maybe as per the theme if there are two infrastructure funds say i1 and i2 this gives 12% returns and this gives 8% returns now this may be holding stocks that will go up a lot say in next 6 months but immediately you will see people moving out from 8% to 12% impatience so i2 will try to match i1 and they can't invest for long term also a lot of these dis they buy to keep market stable for example when fis are selling dis buy the third category is the worst which is you and me retail neither we have patience nor we have a lot of money we panic the first very few of us have long term appetite though we might say we are long term but right now most of us have their portfolios either in red or not growing so much at least not outperforming or performing the same as nifty or bank nifty why because whatever was profitable we have already sold booked profits what if it falls what if my profit erodes whatever was a bad investment maybe something which happened as an event that we are holding to our chest i just give you an example of fusion microfinance i am holding it to my chest i have not booked losses because losses are huge everyone does that in retail as a result as a result portfolio is underperforming the outperformers are already sold out how many of you are holding airtel i am not i am still holding hdfc and icici but i am not holding reliance i sold lnt recently so that is the story of retail now this is a chart from money control which i have shared many times cash market this is fii's 26000 crore purchased 25000 crore sold which is equivalent to 1 or 2 billion dollars nearly on a daily basis basis this was the rebalancing day last friday 2 billion more than 2 billion this is the amount of buy and sell going on every day they are buying selling buying selling they are doing the same 15000 13000 12000 11000 15000 12000 dis are not in the fillet shut it forget it mode it is not that you give them money they buy and keep the stocks for long term and while these are in the tune of 10000 crores rt are in thousands maybe lakhs few us might be trading say in 5 lakh also not a, not even the tip of the leaf of the entire tree will move if you or me decide to buy 5 lakh coming to the injection theory this is 2 o'clock today markets were doing okay till then after that nifty went up tcs went up atl went up hul everything same time this is what i called injection or synchronized buy this cannot be done by retail for sure is that di buying let's check 13000 crore gross sales 15000 crore buy net 2000 crore look at this number 26000 25000 compared to 15 and 16 way higher 10000 crore more on both sides so who's doing this now is it legal yes is this making retail win no is retail suffering yes what happens is around this point on expiry day on critical days the data will tell where is retail whether more people will win if the market goes up or more people will lose when the market goes down this is in cash market as well as options market the open interest and fno data will reflect literally where millions of people will make money or lose money this up or down is not decided on the previous day this is decided somewhere around this time based upon the positions of most traders where most people will lose money most of these days expiry you will see this part is relatively stable no action what happens is if you are buying options beat put options or call options you will bleed the action will start only in the last 1 1 and 1/2 2 hours and what happens is this takes the cash prices also up and down with them and if retail panics then they sell or if they get over excited they buy at very heavy prices next day they will suddenly be in 2 3% losses 
आई एम श्योर दिस वुड हैपन टू यू मेनी टाइम्स इन द लास्ट टू थ्री मंथ्स नाउ दीज आर माई पोजिशन फॉर टूडे आई हेड टेकन पोजिशन लॉन्ग टर्म फॉर नवंबर बट टूडे आई डिसाइडेड टू स्क्वेयर ऑफ अ लिटिल लॉस बट आई सेड आई एम नॉट वेटिंग टिल नवंबर आई विल डिसाइड वेन द मार्केट गिव सम सेंस ऑफ डायरेक्शन वेयर दे आर गोइंग सो आई गॉट ऑफ देन आई शॉर्टेड द मार्केट अबाउट ट्वेल्व लॉट्स बट देन आई वॉज नॉट वेरी श्योर एंड आई गॉट ऑफ इमिडिएटली अ लिटिल प्रॉफिट ओनली इफ आई हैड स्टेड ऑन फॉर दिस स्पाइक टू हैपन आई वुड हैव लॉस माई शेयर टूडे इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मनी और द कैपिटल आई हेड डिप्लॉय टूडे सो वॉट डिड आई डू आफ्टर डूइंग दिस आई वेंट आउट फॉर लंच टूडे आई डिड नॉट स्टे एट होम I did not carry my phone today, so that I am not distracted at all by what is happening in the market. I came back after three thirty and then saw what happened in the market in the last three hours or so. So what am I doing right now, or at least trying to do? One is I am trading more than I am investing. I do invest for long term also, but there are times when I get rid of long term investment. For example, I sold L N T, which I had thought I'll keep for long term. I already said I am gearing up for the result season. My theory is that L N T kind of stocks will not give good results, but I expect L N T to give two bad quarters suddenly, Q one and Q two, and the stock may go down. I will consider buying then. Also, I am avoiding investing in low earning stocks and sectors. The reverse is also true. The ones which are high in earnings, I have mentioned earlier that I am investing more in investment banking stocks. Like I mentioned, I am staying away on expiry days. I will probably take this down to zero in the future. Avoiding compulsive trades. Earlier, I was taking trades at nine fifteen, nine thirty every day, which I have stopped. I have reduced FNO considerably, and you might have seen there are many days when I have no trade days and no sell days. Also, I am diversifying into gold, silver. I have started with ETFs. I have never invested in mutual funds after the two thousand eight crash, where my mutual fund returns got stuck in the red for five years. Most of you would not have seen that period ever, where mutual funds have not even recovered your NAV for five years. I have seen that time. That is why I don't invest in mutual funds, and I have invested significantly in bonds in the last two years also. I am moving a bit of money from bonds to here right now, and I have talked about that approach in the SWP video, which I released a week back. Just a glimpse of one of my portfolios. This is not the major portfolio. these are the gold and silvers that i have bought recently these are the returns on those investments between 8 to 20% now i have talked about moving some money to gold expecting a crash somewhere on november this is the sgb tranche where i have invested this is not the main investment this is already at a return of 10% which means i sold equity moved that money to gold gold has given 10% return gold is going up already this return may only creep up right now so this theory is playing out pretty well and the video for this strategy is at the end of this video again if you have not watched it so this is my strategy for now this is a evolving strategy i am not sure whether it will go right or not or whether it will maximize my gains or not this is not an advice for you to follow this is only for educational purpose hope this video was useful thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow